Yeah. Guys, let's get into this game preview. We got the two and one Atlanta Falcons going up against the one and two Jacksonville Jaguars. We got Calvin Ridley on deck, beloved former Atlanta Falcon. It didn't end the way we all wanted it to, but we get to see him on the field this Sunday. It's all love between them. We wish him nothing but the best. We glad that he's back, but this Sunday he's about to get this work. All right, guys, let's get into it, man. What we're going to see here, we got Calvin Ridley up top. What Calvin Ridley is going to show you is what he's always shown you, man. It's going to be the silky, smooth, fluid deceleration into acceleration out of routes, uh, everything, the whole nine yards, especially when he is given a free release. It's going to be hard to stay in front of or anywhere near Calvin Ridley. You know, that's going to be one of the biggest things in the matchup between him and A.J. Terrell is being able to get a hand on uh, Calvin Ridley. You got to be able to be physical with him. Uh, that's one thing that I kind of felt like was a knock on him for me as an Atlanta Falcon is I felt like he shot away from contact uh, and being physical. And with A.J. Terrell being the physical back that he is, you got to be able to be physical with Calvin Ridley at the line and throughout the catch and make him feel you. Uh, so with Calvin Ridley and Trevor Lawrence, you're going to see that they're building a rapport early, man. This is the first game here, and you can see uh, Trevor Lawrence, the trust that he has. Just look at the window that he's throwing into. He has his arm cocked back to throw the pass. And, you know, you have a wide receiver that hasn't even cleared yet. You got Calvin Ridley coming down to settle into the zone here. But Trevor has made his mind up. Uh, look at these, you know, the two underneath players and a player over the top. I'm not sure how he throws this, but the trust that he has to make that throw, Calvin Ridley makes the catch and takes the ball up the sideline for a big game. Like, that's the type of superhero things that people thought that Trevor Lawrence was going to bring to the game. And you kind of see that here and there throughout his game. Uh, but with Calvin Ridley now being on his team, he kind of gives him a more veteran receiver uh, that can make those plays. And you can see Calvin Ridley put him on skates. Free release, if you don't touch him in that much feel to work with, it's going to be impossible. You know, he has the entire field side to work with. You know, you're not going to be able to guard him out there with that much space. And he's going to make it touch earth. So with the Atlanta Falcons, man, you got to be mindful on how you cover Calvin. So you got to be physical with him, just like you just saw him get thrown down right there. But with Calvin, uh, you see him drop the ball here, a big play, and maybe being physical with him, you know, cause him to drop this this ball right here for a touchdown, right? So this is after the catch earlier, and he was dropped earlier. With Trevor Lawrence, he's going to give him a shot. He's going to give you a shot. And, you know, you got to be able to strap down, just like the Houston Texans did last week. But they're going to make their plays. Uh, Trevor Lawrence is a – a uh, higher tier quarterback, right? I can't say he's, you know, top five, but he's a higher tier. But you got to be able to speed him up, just like you just saw there, right? Can the Atlanta Falcons get to uh, Trevor Lawrence? You saw the Houston Texans, D'Amico Ryans, uh, bring the, the extra guy again, speed him up, make him throw an interception, right? With these superhero quarterbacks, what they're going to try to do is they're going to try to make the play because they know they have the talent, but he's going to try to make that play and force things. So speed them up and make them make the plays. And with the offensive side of things, can uh, Desmond Ritter uh, make the plays that are right? We see C.J. Stroud last week uh, make these plays against the Jacksonville Jaguars defense. Uh, C.J. Stroud, rookie quarterback, looked like he should have been the number one draft pick. Right, That throw there all the way to the boundary, uh, that's a tough throw. Can Desmond Ritter make similar throws and get the ball into his playmaker's hands? Right, 
Drake London. I can see him making that play. Hopefully, Cordell Patterson can make it back this week. And can he affect the special teams game, right, as he get back acclimated into the offense, right? He doesn't have to relearn much here. But it's all going to be driven by Desmond Ritter. Will we get Desmond Ritter, the fourth quarter Desmond Ritter that we got against the Green Bay Packers? Those are going to be our keys to the game. Can we speed up Trevor Lawrence? Can we be aggressive with Calvin Ridley and affect him at the point? And also, can Desmond Ritter take advantage of the opportunities that are going to be presented to him? It's your boy, Sean J. I'm out. One, two, one, two, three. Yeah.